Guess who's back? Back again. Jewel just back. The absolute sponge. Now you guys know me as a connoisseur of the Easy Tech games and um, you do know that I'm an absolute brilliant genius in this game so I'm gonna show you today how to you know I made a video a short time ago talking about how to play this conquest but I was totally wrong I have to I have to overwork everything and I'm just gonna show you how to do it today with uh, so I'm gonna show you how to play as the Romans so first of all you start off really strong ready for conquests against the Gauls ready for wars against the Germans help from your eastern ally so you really feel fit enough to declare war on every single enemy nation because you know you need a challenge you need a challenge it, what is a challenge if you don't really declare war on everybody like come on you, you, you guys know me this is how this channel works even the neutral nations, you know what? even the neutral nations. So now that you have yourself a nice and red world, <laughs> you are ready to take on the enemies. But wait, going on an offensive war? Ha! The real wars are one in thief. <laughs> so we have to defend our cities, but we don't go in the cities, we wait outside. Because that's how you defend the city. That's the new meta, guys. It, 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 is, it is the new meta. So look, instead of defending Genoa, I'm going to defend the city outside because nobody ever saw the counterattack coming. And what you all always need is to upgrade your cities. This is already upgraded fully. So why don't you upgrade my de de defense area? Because that's where all my money should go in my defense areas. Oh yeah, this guy, well, you may not be in a city. Ex excuse me, uh, sir, defending in a city, oh, that's laughable. And a good leader always should be over his population limit, because who needs money? Now, I've explained before that the Imperial Guard is very important, but you know what's even more important? To research a draining system, because we really need that industrial. We, we need some industry in here. And you always should spend all your money in paying this random nation who's going to join in 13 turns. You just should. Now look, they're attacking your city, just as planned. The trap is closing on them. Trap is closing. And we all know that infantry is so unbelievably strong against cavalry, especially if they're in their strong strong defending area, because that's what it works. Oh, I, should, I could go on the mountain or in the forest to give extra attack bonus. I could surround the unit. I'm just gonna attack though, because my infantry is an elite. He's an elite. I have a nice cavalry here. You know where we always need cavalry? In the ocean. Yeah, why don't we actually defend the ocean? The coastline is what's the most threatened right now. Defend the coast. Guard the coast. Guard it. Look, I'm, I'm sending him up for even more coast defense. That's it's such a smart move, though. They, you can't disrespect it. Yes, Egypt. I need you. I need Egypt. I totally mispronounced that. Sorry for your ears. I'm very, very sorry. Now, I would love to build some units, but I'm out of economy because I'm spending it all. And I'm in the limit. So, what should we do? Surround the unit attack? No! Go fight my weakest point as a cavalry. Fight the archers. I just infantry, they're just <laughs> doing the work. <laughs> Didn't expect it. Oh, Aquileas lost. Time for a counterattack. But wait, you don't counterattack on the land. Are you stupid? You attack on the sea. You, you, you use your units, you, you send them in the ocean, you attack a city. Because that's how damage is done. You could use these scrolls for something very useful, but what we really need now is slave labor. While not building anything, because who cannot have, you know, who can have fun without some slaves? And these guys are now going on a conquering mission to... Volubilis! So what we're going to do is send him to... Volubili... Vo Vol... Volbilibu... Volibulila... Vol... Vol... Volubilis... Volubilis... We'll send them there because that's where they're needed the most. Oh wait, you my dear sir! Memphis, they need you! 
to defend the Egyptian port. Now for once I'm not gonna spend my money just to, to show you what, what to do. If you have some hard earned money, obviously you first level up your defense area and then the defense area really need to avoid damage. It's so important. Then you could build some really good units, but instead you're just gonna build auxiliary infantry. Only only auxiliary. And you're gonna level up your city row because that's where your budget should go. Your industrial area, the garrison needs more experience. That's what you need. You just really do. And the library, you need so much culture, then you don't even spend it. Except on obviously you you destroy a place which is really needed. Well, look, I even grab, grab that Aquileo and I'm, I'm gonna do it. But then I'm gonna attack the gen, enemy general and defending the city. Are you, are you kidding me? You kidding me? I'm gonna attack an archer with my archer. That's how you should play Grey Conqueror. Then, obviously, again, fight units on land if you're in the ocean because that's where they get the big boosts. It's really, it really pays off. Trust me, I'm an expert in this. Really pays off. <laughs> really pays off oh we forgot to research and what should we research more than even more wait economy <sighs> industry we need industry the world relies on our industry and fighting is to weak units are you kidding me i'm gonna attack the cavalry attacking into general to suicide my unit that's the plan the japanese did the same didn't they now that we're here you know what who, we're doing so well. Just look at this map. It's it's so nice blue. We're doing far too well. I I, I need a bit of a tougher challenge. You know that. We just we just do so. Who needs Egypt? I I don't need Egypt. You don't need Egypt. The only need ally I really need is boy. The only ally I need is boy. You know the rest. You're just overrated. I'm gonna keep the Romes because it's a bit stupid to play as Rome and then have no Rome on yours. So. You 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 get it. I don't need this rest. Uh, uh, this is just how a map should look if you're playing as Rome. Yes, you should totally defend your Caesar by attacking another archer, getting him surrounded. Look, this guy, he's nice and surrounded. Perfect time to attack another ar a cavalry. And he didn't even die. I'm disappointed. These guys just standing here and doing nothing. That's the plan. Oh, and yeah, we could upgrade this amazing auxiliary infantry or he could you know join the ocean crew and we really need a oh, commercial center actually what we need let's not do that <laughs> kidding me. we need industry we just freaking need industry level this up that i can build up my industry can, can, can I? oh industry wait did i did i just see industry yeah we need more experience garrisons what we truly need right now Yes, pirates, you need my money. Now, if you want to build new things, it's really important to build these things which are really necessary. So what we could do is get a more, you know, residential area. We could, you know, we could get a commercial center or something useful, or we could need more industry. This is where the game's going. New meta, industry only. What do we need? We could use some good tactics. We could re recover more. We could recover more in our cities, which we're defending. It's just, ugh, meta as hell. Do you see how smart I am sometimes? If, if out of led Rome, Rome would still be... Italian would be still the spoken language in half of the world. You know it. You know it. Ocean crew. Ocean crew. And you know, we have those nice buildings like... Industrial era, commercial centers, but I don't really... I think a commercial center is needed. Who needs the money? Let's destroy that and make room for some more, some more defense areas. That that's what we need. We need industry and defense areas. But it's always super useful if you group all your units together. That's you know how the enemy knows how to how to you know deal with with with, with it. And we have four hundred gold. What we're gonna do is just spend it all to boy. We're gonna give it all to boy. And now I don't need boy anymore and I'm just gonna declare war on them. Just because I'm a smart man. Uh, boy had suffered enough at the hands of me. I had to let them free. Now for combat, you should always go get encircled because that's how you, you, you win battles. You go and encircle your units and then you attack the unit which is the strongest to deal the most damage to your unit. 
yeah, I'm, I'm a genius in this. I'm a freaking genius. So, what do we do with this guy? Fight? No. Genoa could use Defender. But how about upgrading the Amphitheater? Because I'm going to keep the city so much longer, it's going to pay off, trust me. Yeah, Neapolis, I, I really do need... You, you, you guys know the drill. An industrial era. Oh yeah, the industrial era. Oh wait, oh wait, I, I, should, I can just dismantle this. Why didn't I do this in the beginning? That's brilliant. So my invasion force to vol this place. Yeah, it's not doing too well. Oh yeah, look how long I kept Genoa. Oh, and what do you need? If you have one port, you need a second port. Can you stop asking me why? It just has to be done. So Rome is on attack, but Yoni is under attack. My freaking fleet! Oh yes, he's here. I can attack him because Yoni can attack from the, the ocean. You know, you, you get such a wonderful, you know, little just tiny debuff thing. It's, it's just ignore it. We'll note it. I need to have an upgraded port instead in Syracuse. And let's upgrade our catapults because we have so many catap. I I, I didn't build one single catapult. You know, let's change that. I need, I just, I just need a catapult. Oh, it's actually not a catapult, it's called ballista. Or, oh no, it's actually a catapult, it doesn't matter. We need a ballista. I could attack him now because this is an archer, but why, why waste his arrows? Why waste his arrows? Just learn this, people. Never use archers, they just waste arrows. And cavalry is bad because those poor horses. This is a pita gameplay, okay? This poor, poor soul, this, this poor horse, we don't care about the humans, this poor soul of the horse. And Rome. Oh, I, I can't build any more units. <laughs> That's rich. Well, then no one will defend Rome. Oh, well, this guy will fight for Rome. Yeah, he did a whole nine damage. That's whooping. Just just look what, what he's... I think I'm just sending all the men to the slaughterhouse. Oh, no, we have a survivor. Yes, he's doing well. Yeah, now police. Yeah, now I did have a ballista, but now you need a siege tower, or you maybe do need a ballista. Ah, uh, no, maybe a battery. No siege tower. Ballista. Ugh, I'm not sure. I just, I just can't decide. I, I really. What? How, how do? How do I choose the? Is this? Is is this the best? Is. Oh, I lost all my money. Oh, that's what happens. Ugh. Ah me, well, time to defend the port. Now people, I just have to demonstrate to you how well this progress is going. Just look, this so nice and blue and... Oh, there's a bit of blue. There, there is some, 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 some blue on this. There, there, there is some, some, some blue. Uh, oh yeah, some, some Africa. This is looking great. But you know what? It, it's, it's too blue. I, I, I... I need to pay Pompey first because you you pay a man and then you declare war on him. Then you declare war on all your allies because who needs friends? Am I right? Who needs friends? You need an, a fleet which could fight. You 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 do need this and you need this guy to get encircled because that's how you do it. And then you have to fight the other archer. Oh, and if I'm if I'm losing, uh, it, it's time for slavery. I'm such a good player. I always enslave. And this ship here really needs to have a thing and how about burning the tile which my my unit goes on because I'm a genius let's train this guy who is basically dead Just listen to me and destroy it. we can we, we we can destroy Carthage but just just screw Carthage just screw it and I think my cavalry action might reach the voluble blah, billy billies yeah let's play the pirates again now whoever said we should never play pirates you have no clue that was me you're a liar that never happened there is no literal video proof out there defending cities is not necessary you know if you if you always want to take the city you have to always take the capital but how do you get the capital you weaken the other structures first you never attack the capital directly you just attack everything else and if you use a blast or destroy you just destroy every, everything else because i'm smart and you burn um this well having against slaves and training this cavalry is dead and or, or yeah, this, this, yeah, I'm, I'm a genius. I'm a genius. Oh, oh Rome, is, Rome is falling. Let's defend it with my 
my weakest possible unit, the guy who was standing in the literal fire. This is gonna work out brilliantly. Darn it, I lost Rome even though I had such ta brilliant tactics. Oh yeah, now I can just play Scythia. It's gonna be so much cheaper, that's the whole reason for losing Rome. Oh damn it, I actually, I actually did attack Volubis. If I, if I take it, I'll, we have the ideal end seek scenario for another video. I'm just saying, now, building units in Syracuse? Not necessary. Because nobody will attack Syracuse, it's just an island. If I actually manage to grab No, I'm not gonna. But, you know what I can do? Oh, I don't even have a unit. I want to burn Syracuse, but I can't. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna build a unit here just to demonstrate to you how useful it will be to just build put him on, on ships. I, I'm not gonna say this game is really stupid, but I... I got Volubilis! I got it! I got it. Just this, I mean, are you gonna complain? Is anybody actually gonna be mad? Now, just to, to celebrate this, I'm gonna put this guy here and build a tree. No, Corp. Maybe, maybe this. Sh this ship looks better. No, oh, oh, okay, we're, we're, we're stuck on this ship. Well, th that ship it is. Well, we still hold Volubilis, and I'm gonna actually attempt to hold this because why not? Syracuse is doing brilliant, just look at it, it's not totally burning. Uh, this, is this the windscreen? I, I think we won. You know what we won? Thank you all for watching. I hope this is going to teach you a lesson how not to play this game. Yeah, have a nice and bye. By the way, if you ever find yourself doing one of these things, then please deinstall the game and rethink your life choices. Bye.